my friends, there is courage. Having the courage to stand up when everything has been pulled out from under you, when nothing is as you thought it would be. I want to welcome to the stage Emily Rafferty, the co-writer of this very personal anthem, truly showing what strength and courage is all about. Thank you, everybody. My name is Emily Rafferty, and I'm here today to share my story and to use my voice for something meaningful and important. For those of you who don't know my story, my family and I lost my sweet husband to his battle with, a, with substance abuse on November 30th, 2021. He was 32 years old and had worked very hard every single day to have nearly made it to his one year sober anniversary. In one moment of weakness, we lost him. He, ins he spent the entire year of 2021 going to therapy and focusing on what wounds he had inside and he had come so far and I am extremely proud of him and his hard work. We walked through 2021 keeping close inventory of everything we learned so that someday we could help anyone and everyone in our positions. So even though he's not here with us fighting this fight, I know he is still here guiding me as I continue fighting for him. I believe he led me to these wonderful people and this project. So without further ado, here's the love song that we wrote to my sweet, dear husband, RJ, and the promise that I made to him and to my sons. Every time I get in the car, I call you. I still got a lot I want to say. Like every time I looked in your eyes, I never wondered how much life that we were gonna make. Your smile made everyone feel welcome. On paper, you had the perfect life. I know you didn't mean to leave us. But you couldn't overcome the hurt inside I will take all the tears you left me I will leave the world a better place I will take all the love you gave me Hold our children close and keep them safe Overcome the hurt inside 
children close and keep them safe. We will take all the tears you left us. We will make the world a better place. I will take all the love you gave me. Hold our children close and keep them safe. Oh, keep them safe. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. I'll keep them safe. Thank you. <laughs> Emily Rafferty. Getting towards the end of our Stories That Heal concert. We're going to have a little dialogue, community conversation afterward, which I'll tell you about. I just want to give a shout out to Maya and Stefan and Sam on video. Um, Maya and Stefan are doing sound in Relakin. So thank you guys so much. That was a big setup. Really big setup, and thank you. And also, um, just another, like, shout out for stone folk which i just want to say like this is not your like they're a great band but they're just fabulous human beings and i think you can feel the heart of everybody up here so i just want to that's kevin labrose on the bass skylar mclean on the drums lucas rhodes on the keyboards and aaron die right there on the guitar and scene so um I've been doing projects sort of like these for about 25 years in a lot of different places, and every place is different. Um, and there's a lot I could say about what I've learned or noticed, but one thing I have really, really noticed is I've never seen any real health, mental health, without a, a relationship to nature, actually, to really... Um, feeling connected, and even people who don't have um, a lot of relationship, like nursing homes that I've done projects in where people, you think they would never, they haven't been outside in a long time. When I ask, where do you go inside of yourself to feel better? It's almost always involves trees or water or animals. And so as we think about being stewards of the uh, good ancestors, as we think about being good ancestors for the futures to come, and standing with our young people as we go forward. It's easy to get overwhelmed, and yet it seems like nature is almost always restorative to a lot of people once you get used to it. If you're not, most of you are. Um, but I, sometimes people in cities are not. 